Hi friends, my name is Chikos Brahma and you are welcome to this channel. Basically, we are going to look at diamond today. By the end of this video, we should be able to describe the structure of diamond, give a few physical properties of diamond and the common uses of diamond in everyday life. What exactly is diamond? Diamond is a form of carbon that is formed underneath the earth's surface with the help of high pressures However, this process takes millions and millions of years. Let's dig deep and look at the structure of diamond. When you look at diamond being an allotrope of carbon, we shall see that it's basically made up of carbon atoms bonded to one another. When you look at this image here, we shall see that each carbon atom as a black sphere in this image is bonded to four other carbon atoms. The blue rods will represent the covalent bond. And remember, covalent bond is all about sharing of electrons. So when you look at atoms of diamond, you realize that in diamond, each carbon atom will be bonded to four other carbon atoms. Let's take a look at the carbon atom labeled C in the center. We shall realize that this carbon atom C is bonded to four other carbon atoms. One, two, three, and four. All these other atoms actually also have four carbon atoms bonded to them. Just that in this image, it's hard for us to show all the four bonds. This is a very small portion of the millions of atoms found in even the smallest sized diamond. When you look at diamond, because each carbon atom has used up all its four valence electrons in covalent bonding, you realize that diamond will not be able to conduct electricity because it does not have free or delocalized electrons. Unlike graphite, as we shall see in the next video, graphite will be a good conductor of electricity. So basically, this is the structure of diamond. Diamond is actually a solid at room temperature with very high melting and boiling points. But why is this so? As we have seen in the previous image, we see that diamond is made up of very many atoms held together by strong forces known as strong covalent bonds. So these millions of covalent bonds forming a three-dimensional structure gives diamond a very high melting and boiling point because we shall need extremely high temperatures for us to melt the diamond. Actually, the melting point of diamond is far above 3,700 degrees Celsius. However, one unique thing about diamond is that it is a good thermal conductor. It actually conducts heat far better than the best metal known, which is silver. However, this is basically for naturally occurring substances. So what are some of the uses of diamond? Uses of diamond are based upon some of the properties of diamond. Diamond being hard can be used to make glass cutters and drills and can be used to make substances that can be used for grinding other substances. Because it is hard, it can be useful in cutting hard things because it will be harder for diamond to break. As you can see here, a glass cutter, at the tip of this glass cutter, this is where we normally have our diamond used to cut glass. Secondly, because diamond is brilliant, it sparkles, it's shiny, people value it a lot. You realize that it's highly used in jewelry to make earrings, to make necklaces and other stuff. However, it can also be used basically for decoration. If at all you have some extra of it, you can use it for decoration. It gives a very good scenery for a party or a function in this case. Then lastly, and rarely, diamond is used by eye surgeons. Yes, eye surgeons. Basically, when you, when you look at the keratome, this knife here is used by eye specialists to treat a disease known as cataract. You can read more about it. Basically, that's all about diamond. Thank you for watching. If you have any question or a comment, please leave it in the comment section below. Don't forget our next video will be about graphite. Don't forget to like and subscribe so that you don't miss
similar videos in future. Thank you.